always take this time at the beginning to find your comfort, to find your edge. And don't go beyond it. We're still looking for release rather than for stretch. present state so do what makes you feel comfortable but let your whole physical body become loose and relaxed to relax mentally as well. Please try and make yourself as comfortable as possible so that you don't have to move your body until I say Hari Om Tat Sat at the end of the practice. Stillness is important for finding our pratyahara, our withdrawal of senses. This posture is called Shavasana, the dead man's pose, and dead men don't move. So try and avoid fidgeting. Try and avoid the distractions that come to you. Just allow them to pass over you. Ignore them. Let them go. Inspect your whole body and make sure that all is loose and relaxed. Fingers are loose and not stiff. The toes are not moving, they are still and relaxed. are not shaking, they are still and relaxed. The head is relaxed. Body is now in a comfortable position of your choosing. Like the dead body, so still, so quiet so immobile. Please 
please try to maintain this tranquility and immobility until I ask you to move. Become aware of your natural and normal breath. spontaneous, effortless breath. Witness it's coming in and it's going out. It's doing this without any effort from yourself. Make the breath and your awareness go together. From the throat to the navel, the breath comes in. And from the navel to the throat, the breath goes out. Of course, this breathing process goes on all of the time, but now you are doing it consciously. The process of the natural breath causes the whole body to move and shake. In some places, the movement is slow, and in others, fast. In some, it is gross, and in others, mild. So be aware of your stomach moving up and down, as well as the throat depression. Be aware of your natural breath. In the natural breathing process, the breath comes from the navel to the throat and goes from the throat to the navel. Keep watching each and every breath. Do not let a single breath go in or come out without your being aware of it. Keep noticing. awareness more constant and continued, you could use the mantra OM or SOHAM, or a personal mantra if you have one. If you like the SOHAM mantra, from navel to throat, it's SO, and from throat to navel, it's HAM. If the direction of the breath becomes reversed, the mantra also reverses and becomes hamso. Don't worry, it is natural. This does take place after some time. Become one with your breath. Continue, so from navel and ham from throat. Please keep awake, remain aware of what I am telling you and be conscious of what you are doing. Do not become engaged and lost in thoughts. Do not allow yourself to slip into unconsciousness. During the period of yoga nidra, sleep should be strictly avoided. You will not sleep or move your physical body until I ask you to. Before we begin the rotation of consciousness, we set a sankalpa or resolve. And this may be something that we know we need to improve in. It should always be something about self. We can't change anybody else. So don't make a sankalpa that's destined for somebody else. We keep it personal. Keep it positive. I will rather than I should do. And keep it in the present tense. So say it as though it's already happened. I am victorious. Even if that victory is yet with you. Now we'll take a quick look through different parts of your body. As I name them, please visualize them and repeat the name mentally to yourself. We always start with the right hand thumb, so bring your awareness with no movement to the right side 
to the right hand, to the right thumb. Second finger, third, fourth, fifth. All five fingers together. Right palm, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, side, waist, hip, buttock, thigh, hamstring, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole of the right foot, top of the right foot, right big toe, second toe, third, fourth, fifth, all five toes together. Visualize your entire right side. Now go to the left hand and start with your left thumb, second finger, third, fourth, fifth, all five fingers together. Palm of the left hand, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, side, waist, hip, buttock, thigh, hamstring, knee, calf, ankle, heel, sole, top of the left foot, left big toe, second toe, third, fourth, fifth, all five toes together. Now visualize the whole of the left side of your body. Think about the back of your body, the shoulder blades, right and left, the buttocks, right and left, the hamstrings, right and left, the calves, right and left, the heels, right and left. Think about the back of your head, the back of your arms and the back of your hands. Think about the whole of the back of your body together. Think about the whole of the front of your body, the forehead and the face the right chest and the left chest, the upper abdomen, the lower abdomen, the groin, the right thigh and the left thigh, the right shin and the left shin, the top of the feet, right and left, the arms, the hands. Think about the whole of the front of your body together. Now visualize just your spine lying on the floor. Only your spine and not any other part of your body. Imagine that you are standing next to yourself lying on the floor. Imagine you are standing over yourself, looking down upon yourself, just watching yourself in detached awareness. The very bottom of your spine, see a stem emerging from the inside. At the top of this stem, a flower is forming and around the flower are several leaves, beautiful green round leaves with drops of dew glistening on them like pearls. If you shake the leaves, the pearls fragment into many small beads. If you shake them again, the small beads come together to form bigger pearls. If you shake the leaves, the water comes together and then disperses and fragments. This flower is the lotus flower, and it is at Muladhara. It is dark red with four petals. 
you are looking at it from the top because the root is underneath the spinal cord, which is lying on the floor. Then at the base of the spine, in Swadasthana, see the vermilion lotus with six petals. The leaves also have drops of water upon them, just like those in Muludara. You can shake them in the same way as before, and the water disperses and comes together, fragments and comes together, becomes smaller and larger, just like it did at Muludara. The water never touches the petals of the lotus flower, though the lotus is rooted to the bottom of the pond, and it rises up through the water, yet its petals are never wet. Therefore, the sages and yogis advise us always to be detached from everything in the whole universe, as the lotus flower is detached from the water, completely non-attached. The lotus comes from the water, yet it does not get wet. The water cannot touch it. In the same manner we all live in the world, we eat and enjoy and suffer, we practice sadhana and do many things, yet we should be detached from all of this. Now at Manapura, behind the navel, visualize a ten-petaled yellow lotus. See the leaves underneath, sparkling with pearl-like drops of dew. Behind the heart at Anahata Chakra, see a twelve-petaled green lotus. It has many leaves underneath, covered with fine drops of dew. Visualize it. At Vishuddhi, behind the throat, is the 16-petaled pale blue lotus with many leaves underneath it and dewdrops shining on them like pearls. At Ajna, behind the eyebrow centre, see a two-petaled indigo lotus with two leaves beneath it, covered with dewdrops like pearls. And the radiant full moon is above them, about three inches away. Above Ajna Chakra at the back of the head is Bindu. There you will find the bright full moon. And if you go still further above the full moon, approximately another three inches, then you see the beautiful thousand petaled bright purple lotus at Sasarara. There are so many petals here at the crown chakra and the water droplets are gleaming like corals all around the bottom of them. Now go to that moon again at Bindu. It is so quiet, tranquil, peaceful, cool. Then go to Ajna. See the dew drops on the leaves in Ajna at the eyebrow center. In Vishuddhi at the throat in Anahata at the heart, in Manapura behind the navel, at Swadasthana, base of the spine, and in Muludara at the root. As light strikes them, the drops of water on the leaves shines like hundreds of jewels. Some look simple like pearls, and others like coral depends upon your angle of vision. They are shining like diamonds, like nuggets of gold and silver, like many moons, like many stars. And the flowers are only able to be seen due to the light reflecting from these brightly shining jewel drops. Again, visualize the root chakra at Muladhara all the leaves and dewdrops on them. Then Swadasana, Manapura, Anahata, Vishuddhi, Ajna, Bindu, Sasrara. In the crown chakra, see the thousand petals, see the leaves with the jewels of water shining upon it. 
feel the qualities of the different chakras and whatever sensations are emanating from them. Lie for some time, visualizing each chakra in turn and noticing any vibrations that resonate from any particular one. You might feel different vibrations. Each chakra is a swirling vortices of energy, each one reflecting upon the one above and below it. You may connect into this, you may feel nothing, and there's no judgment either way. Crown, Hindu, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, sacral, root. Place your whole physical body into a lotus flower. Imagine your whole physical body is lying relaxed on the lotus and the flower is merging into your physical body, holding you, protecting you, allowing you comfort and ease. Remember your resolve, your affirmation, your sankalpa. Repeat the sankalpa, the same words and feeling that you made at 
the beginning of the practice. Repeat it mentally three times to yourself now. Maintaining your position, become aware of your physical body, the gross, mortal body. Become aware of its position. And as a result of this relaxation, the whole body on the physical, mental, emotional and spiritual levels has become very quiet, relaxed and peaceful, yet so fresh, revived and energetic, the whole body, become aware of your whole body. practicing it, become aware of the whole environment, the whole environment. 